Hey, welcome back to Into the Breach. Last episode, we finished our steed with our frozen titans. Um, we have a weapon I haven't used before, namely the face cam, giving two damage and shielding buildings that it goes through. Um, we have the acid tank with uh, extra health and push. And then we have the Riyadh Maid who has a target strike. So, anyway, uh, we need to do one more island. As far as enemies goes, it's almost the same. I think I'd rather go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Scorpion boss than uh, <clears throat> something else, I guess. Alright, so we got five Vec on the field from the gates. Straight out of the gates. Yeah, that's 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 a problem. Look how they want me to deal with all of this. Especially because I can't kill anyone. What do you want me to do, game? How does this work? So, Mountain does stop it. <clears throat> yeah. Um, how do you want me to deal with this game? Like that, apparently. <clears throat> well, never doing that again. So you're dead, but you've done the world of service, allowing me to collect the pot. <laughs> you shouldn't laugh about it, but come on, dudes, look at this. <clears throat> Except the satellites, we're gonna throw everything we have at it, though. And so they did. Hmm, so if we just give up on this satellite, which we probably have to, <clears throat> I don't see a way to get both of these off anyway. Not without the target striker, which we only get one. So our ID will be to save this one.
Might as well shoot you with this one. <clears throat> um, we'll kill you. Yeah, we're giving up on you. Sorry. But uh, you're swarming that thing just a little bit too much. And by a little bit, I mean, good grief. Can you give me at least a small chance to do this? But spawning five Vec and all of them really going for the satellite. I'm surprised I managed to save one of them at least. Mm, I'll just have to kill you, I think. There's something that need to be made <clears throat> for this, but uh, it's not gonna work. I should kill you though, because I need your spirits. You can safely ram your face into that if I allow you, which I'm not going to. <clears throat> I wonder if it was possible to save that though. If anyone is capable or saw a way there, by all means let me know. Busting duty. <laughs> duty. <clears throat> well, we're not going to wait too long on the Logan. And welcome to post commentary because you guessed it, forgot to unmute the mic again. <sighs> well, that and I forgot to pause the game, which means the timer on this run is gonna be huge. Anyway, um, I've noticed that when watching others, I don't really have too much commentary on people playing. I'm gonna s see if I can find my own misplays in the time. It takes for me to do the moves because at this point I don't actually have the opportunity to pause because you know it would mess up the video. Anyway, I do know that I'm a big fan of that face cannon. It, uh, it's gonna show some really good stuff later on. I'm gonna use the acid tank here to pollute the waterway a bit, take care of some uh, unruly vec as well. Gotta make sure that we can kill our enemies, right? And I do appreciate that they are just lining up to get murdered. See? He's just waiting to get a good push. Either way, you'll see a nice uh, thing with the cannon here, I believe. There's two building shield. One gonna take a hit. He can just be frozen. Simple. That face cannon is something that I'll be going to look out for. Two damage shot with a push ain't bad to begin with. But uh, the shield can really go a long way too. Basically means uh, there's offensive and defense. Uh, what am I going to do with you? I'm bringing you back. Yeah, you're fireproof, so that's easy enough to do. Already got a nice special skill coming into play. Another shield of building, he's dead and we can just... Uh, Freeze D7 there. E7. And I was kind of wondering why he wasn't attacking, but 
And it's because I unfroze that guy. He's not the guy that I shot. <clears throat> anyway, eventually I'll uh, realize that and get things going again. You know what else is great? I forgot to unmute the microphone for the next recording. The entire thing. <laughs> so we'll have that looking forward to as well. <clears throat> anyway, he's gonna get an easy smack. Probably f shield those two buildings up there. You're gonna get frozen. And this guy's going for a swell. Or I don't do anything with you. There we go. Also, I have a mouse cursor. Huh. It's a good thing that I see that. I'm gonna have to get rid of that. Hmm. I didn't do that before. Oh well. We've got a pilot that we will not be using. I'm not a big fan of him. He's good, but um, I like what we have. Here go to damage and one to movement. Yeah, there we go. Big fan of movement. <clears throat> the more versatile something gets, the more versatile you, you want it to become. And movement is a great way to help with that. This will be another showcase for a phase cannon. Keep going to tank in the back line. Not only can it shoot through buildings at enemies, but it can also shoot through buildings to protect them. What's not to love, right? <laughs> That's loud. In a sec. Alright, moving on. <sighs> what am I doing here? Oh, yeah. Bragging about the wonders of the face cannon. See? Hey, lovely. Two things shielded and a threat resolved. Can't do that with a shield projector. <clears throat> anyway. Time to get the acid tank out. Let that guy go for swim. Why him? Yeah, get him much better. There you go. We can go fix that. Go. Uh, finally, we get an airstrike that doesn't target one of my own mechs. Uh. Alright. Should be straightforward. <laughs> Probably just gonna freeze a building with that. Oh yeah, bomb blocking. I noticed that when I was playing, but as you can tell, I completely forgot about it during the commentary. As you can tell, I block spawning, kill enemies. Those two are. Two of the things. I think I tried to do something different here, but I can't recall what. Hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, block spawns, kill enemies, and apparently there's also the occasion to kill everything. Um, are just two objectives that I just forget about a lot because they don't show up anywhere on the map itself just you know in a little square box on the right so i read it hey box bomb okay and then the mission starts and i pay no more attention to it it's annoying i know but anyway at this point the spawns are blocked i don't have to worry about that anymore not a good shot for i think face cannon there Smack and you're dead. There's no real point to shoving him down. Look fancy. 
or we block another spawn with that. I guess we could. I don't think it matters all too much. Useless airstrike with enough force to push the ground downwards. He's gonna kill himself. Face cannon can easily take care of him. And we can just uh, either freeze or kill that alpha pipeline. In a fancy way, I should do yet another building. Yeah, sorry, can't go for a firefly there without getting hit by uh, that guy. Self reason. Makes the shot a little bit pointless. We also have a building that's like super protected because he's in case an ice and a shield. No one's gonna hurt that anytime soon. All right, mission completed. the train hasn't been going too well as of late so we're ignoring it apparently oh, well uh, well we can use the grid so protecting some artillery should be easy but placing him there placing the uh, mirror mech there because you know shoot the two buildings and uh, deal some damage I'm gonna have to make sure that I check any episode that I recorded already since I came back to see the mouse cursor still a thing though. I'm not sure if I still have all the uh, Adas not Adasi files, but uh, Cartesia files for that. It's easy enough to get rid of. Uh, you probably won't see it unless I completely forgot about it, but it's showing the double cursor which occasionally happened during my FTL episodes as well. It stopped being a thing once I started streaming it because uh, OBS itself doesn't pick up the extra cursor, but Camtasia does for whatever reason. Getting gas to tank out nice and easy. No point in shooting at the Psyon because he's gonna get killed by his buddy. And shooting him would push him out of the way. We don't wanna do that now, do we? He's gonna off himself, be much appreciated. There, but I'm not 100% sure. Shot there will kill him. We got away with him. And I guess we can freeze a building if I don't forget about it. <coughs> Unless I decide to do something else. Yeah, apparently I'm resetting the turn. Not sure if that's worth the reset. Then again, we do have two of them, so you can afford being a little bit stupid with them on occasion. Double defended building. I think this is the first time I give the face cam a go. Shame because it uh, now shows how good that actually is. Especially if you get it all the way up there. He usually only does one damage. Upgrade giving it the shield and one more damage, I believe. since it's unlikely that the actual coal plant would be attacked. Small chance that the building that just froze is gonna get attacked as well, but you know, it's a higher chance than the coal plant, I guess. Then, uh, 
that. This is where I thought I'd check to see what happens to allies, and apparently just fire straight through them. They don't get a shield, but they don't take damage, so... He's gonna kill his friend, and you are gonna smack him to death. Which means good old Mafan here, who I call an envoy all the time, <clears throat> is going to just freeze another building. It's got nothing to do. Good job, well done. And power grid is at full. Yeah, grid defense. Extra power for you. We'll be going to health, meaning he has actually got more health than our... What's his name? Aegis mech? Even though he has um, Ariadne in it, providing another plus three. I think him being in the shield mech suits him well, though. Anyway. We've got uh, bigger fish to fry. By the name of a scorpion leader. Really gonna get a shot from the uh, face cannon. No, I, I have other ideas, I think. Or is this not where I go for those ideas? I think I do. Oh, yeah, I protect the corporate tower with a shot. I should have put acid on him first, but then I wouldn't have the shield of the tower, and you know. <clears throat> I thought a shield there would uh, be a good idea. Smacked him to death for the shield bash. I think we're gonna get the acid tank out. It's always nice to get that out nice and early. Another body on the field, after all. Mech is being targeted by well, pretty much everyone. <laughs> you know what that means? Shoot him. <laughs> uh, no, I think I have another thing in mind here. I think I also reset this turn. It isn't too long ago since I recorded this. I was planning on recording another episode, but you know, here I am doing post commentary. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna take the shot with the M first so he doesn't take unnecessary damage. And then we uh, strike down on our side. Let's see what happens. And once again, I realized, well, forgot to undo the move again, which is the reason why. It's one of those bad habits I picked up doing nothing for a month and a half on this game. So much cooler than the Janus Cannon. Either way, Ariadna gets to live. The son's dead. Two more turns left. In the So hit from that, shooting into E6, means that E2 can actually help out. <clears throat> Apparently we're gonna get our acid tank out first. Nope, still thinking about it, huh? By all means, 
go right ahead. Not sure what the delay is for. There you go. Then he moves. And our acid tank is safe. Free the building. Now we're good to go. We'll have to dog pile on that scorpion afterwards, but uh, we'll only have two more. Three more health. Maybe a shield bash, bash can actually kill them pretty easily. Or shove into the fire. So, have I figured it out yet? Nope, still thinking heavily about stuff. I think I also reset a turn. I think I do have a elegant solution for this one. One that will result in our Miramac catching fire. Pretty big mess, I will admit. Yeah, see, there's my problem than that. And by that I mean put my uh, mirror mech, <clears throat> my mirror mech on E5. You'll soon see me why. In case you're still wondering on how to solve this. You can safely move there because it doesn't catch fire anyway. You kill him, but then... How do I get rid of D3 when the only option at this point is to shove him to E3 where he will take out Corporate Tower? Meaning at this point I have the option between getting Ariadne killed and Corporate Tower killed or losing for grid. And then it hit me. This problem is easily resolved if E5 doesn't end up on E5, but on E7. So that's what we'll be doing here. After the penny drops in my mind. Which on occasion can take a while. D6, uh, E6 was an option because then D6 would get hit. The only safe haven for you is E7, and it's not a safe haven for you, but it's a safe one for the grid. And you having that much health means it's not really a problem. You'll be able to tank it, because you know you're a tank and you have more health than anyone on the field right now. Sure, it was the right call, but I did go with some stuff. I'm kind of already checking how many cores I need to pull off some stuff. I thought about the hydraulic legs to get rid of the uh, target strike, which is the one use thing. Um, he has a lot of health, but the problem with that is the hydraulic legs can easily be put into a position where you can't use them. I uh, can't get building immunity as far as I know, and that makes it hard to use. So, rather than 
stuffing three cores into an extra damage on the Janus cannon, which I haven't been using too much, I decided to go for... Come on, dude. Almost there, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, the missile barrage. Which had some issues with it as well that I didn't foresee. Anyway, you all get booted. One more core. You are getting something better. And with that, we will move on to the final island. I will soon see what the problem I had with the missile barrage was. It has some problems to start off with, namely um, the only way it can deal with a threat is by killing it. Uh, it doesn't push you anything, so... And second of all, well, we'll see soon enough. And by see soon enough, I mean I'm gonna miss it once, not know about it, then do it again, then go like, oh. So that's a thing. You all probably know what I'm talking about already. Anyway, this seems like a natural way to go about things. I didn't see another way to get to him. Unless maybe the face cannon could have done something, but I think it would have broke on the rock. Quick shot there. Quick smack there. And we're off to our next turn. The blob's a non-threat, <clears throat> so at least there's that. It's funny how the volcano is taking out other volcanoes, like, I'm the biggest one here, die. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, this is where I will reset a turn, I think. As I'm filling with ideas again. Not to mention know what happens when I deploy a tank on the, the final mission. So the plan here was to get the Jans cannon up there, but the Alpha Firefly had one more HP than I thought he would have had. Meaning I can't get my tank in position, meaning I can't kill the Blobber. So that's a reset. So, new plan. Take a nice little dip. This flipping you is a bad idea, my good sir. Don't do it. There you go. Seems like I'm gonna be using you. I think you can get the kill, can you? Oh, yeah. I've already smacked them once. And then we need to find a way to take care of the beetle, and the only way we can do that. Barrage. This is also where I noticed the problem that it unfreezes everything we've frozen. So 
still have plenty of HP left on him. And thanks to his brilliant move, my ass attack is once again stuck. Which is what I meant with, you know, what happens every time I deploy a tank on these missions. They get stuck somehow. In the most bizarre positions. Anyway. We'll kill him, but the building will be safe. We'll totally kill him. Here's where I realized, yep, you are stuck. Because remember, the uh, tanks you deploy aren't massive. They would just drown in water. Oh well, doesn't mean he gets to live. He won't drop to his doom either. So his body stays on ice. Then, and there's your lot. You can repair, shield the building, whatever. But that firefly is getting out of here. Right side, shield tank, uh, as the tank gets to live, you know, doesn't drop to his death. He's gonna go up against that firefly. Don't think his chances are that good when he's isolated on a small island there, so. Hmm. Who knows, maybe you can shoot him into the drink or something. I don't know. We got bigger fish to fry in the, the final phase of this fight. Now, uh, we don't have to kill the boss, meaning we can easily put on ice. We're gonna waste no time doing as such. Pulling up some holes is always good, I guess. This is where we reset yet another time. <laughs> already know what I did wrong. Good shot for that. We won't be getting much out of the shield, which means we're gonna have to revise our strategy. As you do. Death. Now my farm is on. Well, about to die. Base can does a good job, but there we go. 
I saw the thing. <clears throat> I was literally thinking that a flying enemy might, uh, well, flying mechal enemy could get off scot free, but I know it doesn't work like that. If it says the unit will die, the unit will die, irregardless. They put him here, which actually allows us to keep both shields on the towers there. Meaning this was way better. Well, I feel bombs taking a hit, but I now know that you just get another one if it blows up, so. I need to worry. Shield drops, but honestly, who gives it? Drud. Four vet to deal with, and we got four things on the fields. It's nice of them to line up again, just as they did before. Same enemies and everything. Well, one of them is the same, the other one is a, is a duplicate, I guess. <clears throat> and I briefly thought about doing that, but I do think I changed my opinion. thought this might be a good idea, so I didn't think I'd use it. I looked, saw that I could just freeze the boss again, and we gave the green light for it. Stops the beetle on D2 and allows us to freeze the boss on B4. I guess you don't have anything to do. <clears throat> also, blocks spawn for us, meaning we will have. Not a lot of enemies to deal with. Namely, just the... deal there. Not much of a threat can he be, right? Anyway. Of course, we couldn't let this go off without a hitch, so... Yeah. There we go. <coughs> My farm had to die. <coughs> well, I didn't, but I just, once again, didn't pay attention enough. I told you. On the bright side, it doesn't matter here, because, you know, we did win. But yeah, that was a little bit... Uh, Stupid, wasn't it? Bang him. And the last met <clears throat> is gone there too. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. We have a few more squads left to go. Again, I'm only gonna do two victories on each, and I'll do the rest off camera. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the series of free shows. Probably coming like in or something. If you're not ready, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.